The other day, I went to see my doctor, Dr. Ateknij. He's from Sabia. He's very nice. And he said to me, Hugo, how nice see you. I ignored his incorrect use of the infinitive. I said, it's nice to see you too, doctor. Then we talked at length, and he said, Hugo, I think you have anxiety. I said, anxiety? And he said, anxiety, it's AI. And I said, that's not helpful. And he said, Hugo, I'm going to prescribe you some drugs. Take one a day and you'll be fine. And I said, thank you, and I left. On leaving the pharmacy, I realised the drugs he had prescribed me were Valium. I thought this very strange. I know Valium. I think Valium is the drug they give you when you have problems in the bedroom. If you're a gentleman uh, and your uh, fellow is floppy, it uh, unflops your fellow. Valium. Now, my fellow works very well and so doesn't need unflopping. So I decided I wouldn't take the Valium because I didn't feel I needed it. However, I found my friend Bernard, who was a doctor. I said, Bernard, my GP tells me I have an anxiety. And Bernard said, anxiety, it's AI. And I said, that's not helpful. And Bernard said, look, Hugo, don't worry about the Valium. But usually, doctor knows best. And I thanked him. And we said goodbye. Two weeks later, I went back to see my doctor. He said, ah, Hugo, how are you? I didn't want him to think I'd been taking his Valium. So I said, doctor, I'm very well, thank you. And I have an incredibly large erection. And he said, you need CBT. Again, I ignored his incorrect use of the infinitive. I said, I have two questions regarding BT. Is she pretty and when is she available? He said, no, 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 no. I mean, cognitive behavioral therapy. I said, ooh, cognitive behavioral therapy. Then I remembered what Bernard had said about the doctor always knowing best. So I went. I saw my therapist and he said, Hugo, what seems to be the problem? And I said, well, it seems I have anxiety. And he said, anxiety, it's AI. I said, that's not helpful. He said, sorry. So what's causing you anxiety? I said, well, what's causing me anxiety at the moment? is the need to have cognitive behavioural therapy. And he said, ah, and he stroked his chin. <sighs> then he drew a diagram with lots of arrows on it, going hither and thither, and we talked. At the end of the session he said, so you go, what have we learned? I said, well, we've learned that having cognitive behavioural therapy is causing my anxiety. And then he said, so what's the solution? And I said, well, if I would stop having cognitive behavioural therapy, I would no longer have anxiety. And he said, of course. It seems, Hugo, you're cured. I said, oh, marvellous. And I went home. And you know what? I feel very, very calm. And I have absolutely no symptoms associated with anxiety. ETI. The other day, I was walking down the street, minding my own busyness, when I witnessed an event. It was quite dramatic. Afterwards, 
I made my way to the police station to offer my services. I said to the sergeant, Hello, my name's Hugo. I've just seen it. And he said, Seen what? And I said, The Rebelli. The what? The Rebelli at the bank. You know, the Rebelli. I saw the guitar way car. I saw the guitar way and the guitar way car. It was a new car. And he looked at me like I was strange. And I said, Look, the Rebelli. The Rebelli at the bank. Bank. With the word bank, he clearly understood what I was saying. Finally. And I went away with a constable. We sat in an interview room where I gave my statement. It was two pages long and took seven and a half hours to complete. The other day I was listening to the radio and on came the traffic news and I heard there was much traffic on the motorway causing hefty delays and I thought, oh, my friend Bernard will be driving on the motorway He'll be caught in traffic. And if he wishes to make himself home expeditiously, he needs to take the exit. As my friend Bernard has a mobile phone, I called him up. I said, Bernard, be very careful. There's traffic on the motorway causing heavy delays. You need to take the exit to get home expressly. And he said, Hugo, you're breaking up. And I said, no, Bernard, breaking up is hard to do. And I said, Bernard, you must get off the motorway. Take the exit. Otherwise, you'll hit the traffic. And he said, <sighs> Later I heard he made it home by midnight. <laughs>